one hour challenge to see how many squid we can pull. We're just off these uh, awesome looking rocks down here. And as you can see in the background, the sun's just about to set. But let's get straight into it because we only have an hour. Well, what we're using today is one of mixed jigs. How good does that look? It's got a nice rattle to it too. This is meant to imitate a King George Whiting, but the rattle sort of imitates the same frequency as a big prawn. The sound it makes underwater when it clicks. So let's give it a few casts. Hopefully pull up a squid or two in the next hour or so. I mean, in the next hour on the dot. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, I had a squid on and I pulled the mantle off. <laughs> oh well, it's good to know that they're around. I'll loosen up the drag a bit because I don't want to be pulling off their mantles every time. <laughs> But at least we know they're there, so come on. The sun's pretty much almost set now, so we don't have much longer. It's probably been about 15 minutes, so we've probably got 45 minutes left. These jigs actually cast surprisingly well too. That one just flew really straight. Sometimes they get caught in the wind. Oh, look at that dolphins out there. Hopefully they push the squid right in close. Alright, that took it on the drop guys. <laughs> First squid of the Arvo. Let's hope this one stays on and doesn't rip off. But it goes to show they're out a little bit further because I didn't even get time to uh, retrieve it before this one grabbed it. Water skiing him on the surface. Not bad. Look at that. There we go guys. A lovely squid on one of mixed jigs. There's our second squid of the day. And this one feels a bit better. Here he comes. There we go. I'll leave him there so that we can get another cast out. Hopefully get one where he grabbed it. Yes. What did I say guys? They're usually schooled up. And here is another one. I love jet skiing them in. This one's only a smaller one. Oh, we'll pop him down. Get it straight back out. All right, there's the two we just caught. They're not huge, but good eating size. A few of these will make a cracking feed, but that's two out of three that we've caught so far. We've got about 25 minutes left, so let's get back into it. Wow, how amazing is that? 
the whole cliff is just lit up whilst I'm in the shadow. That's because the sun's almost down, which only gives us 35 minutes, sorry, 25 minutes left. We've got three. Let's see if we can double it. Might even triple it. You never know. All right, we've been casting for a while for nothing. Oh, we have 15 minutes left. So, fingers crossed in 15 minutes we can double those three squid because it is getting dark and that's a gorgeous sunset just behind the rocks there. Yes, first cast in the new spot, hooked up. <laughs> there we have it, another nice red squid. This is how you kill a southern calamari humanely. So you want to get the karate chop position and just behind the head here, you just want to chop fast and vicious, just like that. As you can see, it's turned all white. That's all its organs shut down. So that's a dead squid. Hope that tip helps, and uh, next time you'll know how to kill a squid. All right, three more minutes. I've only got about four casts left, and we have four squid. But, let's see if we can make that five or six. Alright, let's make this the last cast. Here we go. One more squid. Nope. Alright, well, that's our one hour up. That's how one hour is up. We ended up catching four squid, which was still a feed, a decent feed. So all those tubes will turn into squid rings and you can even use tentacles as well and, and also the uh, flaps. But I tend to only use the tubes and keep the rest as bait because the other bits are a little bit fiddly. But we got them all on the King George Whiting imitation by mixed jigs with a rattle in it. So, not a bad little afternoon. It was a gorgeous sunset. As you can see, the sky's still full of color. But I'll chuck them in the esky, take them home, and prepare them for dinner. So, cheers for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be creating a lot more content using this camera. And it's an awesome camera because it can pick up the lighting in almost pitch darkness so right now this GoPro wouldn't even pick up the darkness of where I'm at now but we ended up getting four squid awesome effort for an hour get out there enjoy the sunlight and catch yourself some dinner for you and your family it's quite simple and easy but now it's just a matter of preparing them so stay tuned for some more videos guys and uh, cheers see you in the next one